Mga ate at mga kuya, welcome back to Kuya Putos Channel. So, kung meron po kayo naririnig doon sa likuran ng mga Korean-Korean, pasensya na po kayo sa misis na addict sa Korean uh, drama, Korean TV. So, nanonood siya sa taas. Well, anyways, marami po nagtatanong kay Kuya Puto. Sabi nila, Kuya Puto, magkano bang sweldo ang kailangan ko for me to be able to live comfortably sa Toronto, Ontario, Canada? Yun po ang million dollar question natin ngayon. So ako po, I was pretty much raised sa GTA, you know, Greater Toronto Area. So I can tell you exactly what the numbers are. But before we start guys, let's put a definition on the word comfortable. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng comfortable? Iba-iba po yung meaning ng comfortable sa iba-ibang tao. So, pag-uusapan po natin is what Kuya Puto deems comfortable. Okay? So, sa akin po, when you say, I want to live comfortable in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, I'm gonna base these numbers that I'm about to tell you guys. Kung binata kayo, katulad ni Kuya Puto dati, and you want to live comfortable, like really comfortable. Okay? So, wag po kayo magalit. This is very subjective. Ito lang po, based on my life. <laughs> if I was living in Toronto, Ontario in 2023, ngayon. Okay? So, long story short, the meaning of the word comfortable kay Kuya Puto is Nakatira po ako sa magandang condominium or apartment. Either I'm renting it or I own it and I'm making payments towards it. Number two is gusto ko po meron akong sasakyan na maganda. Okay? The, either I'm making payments on it on a lease or I'm financing it. And uh, number three, ayoko po yung tinitipid yung pagkain. Dahil as you can see, Si Kuya Puto, medyo mabigat. And I love food. So, ayoko po yung buhay na tinitipid. Okay? And those are the three factors that uh, we're gonna tackle. And uh, that's gonna be based on Kuya Puto's life. Okay? So, magkano nga ba? Sa akin po, kung tatanungin niyo ako, kailangan ko ng $100,000 salary a year to live comfortably sa Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Lalo na po ngayon, 2023, napakamahal ng cost of living. My definition of comfort is different from the next person and to the next person, right? I'm basing this on how Kuya Puto personally would live. Okay? So, if you're earning $100,000 a year salary sa trabaho ninyo, Pag kinaltas na yung mga tax, all the deductions, your net take-home pay is $73,439.55. That's a rough estimation of yung netto. Okay? Forget the gross. We're thinking about net right now. Dahil yun ang gagasusin ninyo, di ba? So, I'm gonna break down exactly how Kuya Puto would spend $73,439.55 based on how I want to live sa Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So ako po, kung magtitira ako sa Toronto, ganito po gagawin ko. Number one, I need to be living in a good environment, in a good neighborhood. Importante po sa akin yun. So either I own a condo or I rent a condo or I rent an apartment. And sa Toronto po, the average one bedroom, one bath in a good neighborhood would run you about $2,100. Okay? So sa $2,100 a month, nakatira na po kayo sa high-rise condominium nun. Maybe in the heart of downtown where all the amenities are close by, which is perfect. 
kung binata kayo, which is what I'm basing this video on. Okay? So, kung doon na kayo nakatira, meron pong mga associated expenses, you know, where you live. Katulad ng internet. Okay? You gotta have internet. Internet will run you about $80 a month. You have to pay hydro. Palagay nyo ng another $80 a month. You have to buy insurance for that living space. $60 bucks a month. Subscriptions. So, Netflix, you know, Amazon Prime Video, Spotify, all of that good stuff. Palagay nyo ng $60 a month. Gym membership para, you know, lagi tayong macho. Palagay nyo ng $60 a month. So, total po nun lahat-lahat, probably around $30,000, you know, give or take. Dahil lahat po nung numbers na binigay ko sa inyo ngayon, they're approximations, right? You know, merong pong mga give, so they're not set numbers. So lahat po yun times 12, because there's 12 months in a year, mga $30,000 siguro. Okay? Tapos, the way Kuya Puto lives, <laughs> mahilig po akong kumain. And ayokong tinitipid ang sarili ko. So, if I was living downtown, hindi po ako magluluto. Or if I do luto sa bahay, it's gonna be very, very, very rare. Most of the time, kain po sa labas. So, yung pagkain natin, set natin siguro $300 a week. So, that's gonna be $1,200 a month. Plus, you know, special occasions where siguro ilalabas yung girlfriend nyo or ilalabas yung pamilya ninyo. You know, palagay nyo ng, oh, not only that, let's consider Uber Eats, DoorDash, and all of that stuff, all of those services. Maybe an extra $500 a month. So, sa pagkain lang po, $1,700 na. Okay? A month. So, multiply that by 12. Because there's 12 months in a year, di ba? That's gonna be roughly around $20,000. Okay? I'll, I'll, break, I'll break it down for you. Papakita ko sa inyo at the end. Okay? And, you know, kung binata tayo, katulad ni Kuya Puto dati, kailangan natin ng kotse. Right now, Average car payment on a decent car, palagay nyo ng $725 a month. Okay? That's either gonna get you, like, you know, a nice BMW maybe, or like a nice sports car. You pick, you know, $725 a month can get you a nice car. And that's what Kuya Puto likes to drive, diba? So, may kochi ka na, kailangan mong bumili ng insurance, diba? Insurance on a sports car, Maybe a hundred, hundred fifty dollars a month, mga ganon, give or take. And gasolina, your car's not gonna run kung walang gasolina. Lagi na mga three hundred, four hundred dollars a month. Okay, lahat po to, These are not set numbers. Okay, but if you total that, multiply that by twelve, anywhere between fourteen to sixteen thousand dollars a year. So add natin lahat yun. Thirty thousand. 20,000, 15,000. Magkano yun? 20, 30, that's 50. 65,000, approximately. 65 to 70,000, palagay nyo na, approximately. Wala pang savings dun. <laughs> Wala pang vacation dun. Okay? Alam ko, yung uh, total neto, it's gonna be, like I said, around 65,000, maybe, like around there. And... Magkano yung sinabi ni Kuya Puto earlier? You know, your your net pay. You know, after all of the deductions and the taxes are taken off, dun sa $100,000 a year job ninyo, salary, $73,439.55. So, kung approximately $65,000 yung uh, nagasta na natin just on the basics that I told you, that I listed for you, you have another maybe eight to ten thousand dollars to play with, so maybe savings, maybe vacation. I know, guys. Etong mga numero na sinasabi ko sa inyo, it seems a little excessive, okay? But I guarantee you, karamihan, 
and I mean the majority of single people sa Toronto that are making $100,000 a year, this is how they are living. Totoo po to. Siguro guys, sasabihin niya, Kuya Puto, come on. You know, I'm not gonna spend seven, eight hundred dollars on a car. I'm not gonna spend two thousand dollars to rent a condo. And I'm definitely not gonna spend seventeen hundred dollars on food, takeout, you know, restaurants on a monthly basis. Di naman realistic yan. You know guys, believe it or not, okay, I base this numbers not just on how I live, if I was single in Toronto, but this is very uh, reflective on really the majority of young people right now making this money and how they spend their money living in Toronto. Normal puto. Okay? Dahil, unfortunately, you know, the more money you make, the more complicated you make your life. <laughs> and... You know, there's always exceptions to the rule because marami pong tao dyan, napakadami. Uh, magaling po sila sa pera, magaling silang humawak. Okay, just because they make so much, you know, doesn't mean they have to spend so much. You know, some people, napapaikot po nila itong $100,000 a year salary, you know, to make more. You know, through investing, you know, through various different means, you know, by not splurging so much. Pero problema po kasi, as you level up in life, so does your expenses. <laughs> because you start taking on uh, new responsibilities and uh, you start uh, taking on new things that you've never had before. And all of those come with a price, diba? So this is why I think and I know to live comfortably, in Toronto, you need minimum $100,000 a year salary. Dahil anything below that, yes, you know, marami pong titira sa Toronto, they don't make $100,000, you know, pero they make it work. Ito lang po sa akin, you know, based on how I would want to live and how I have lived in the past, you know, and by no means... Okay, <laughs> all of the numbers that I gave you today are set in stone. Okay, marami pong give yan, left or right, diba? Less or more. You know, it's just based on how I live or I want to live or I have lived and how tons of people in Toronto, you know, that are considered younger are living right now. So, sana naman po, wag kayong magalit. <laughs> You know, I'm just giving you, you know, numbers based on my experience and how I want to live. You know, I know the bachelors, the, the bachelors are going to come out left and right and say, Kuya Puto, you know, but living, living the high life ka. You know, guys, life is short. Okay. Ipon ka ng ipon for the future, which is good. But at the same time, kalang balance nyo yan and live life good. Because you never know, kinabukasan, you might get, you might get hit by a bus. <laughs> and ano mangyayari? You know, hindi nyo na-enjoy lahat ng uh, fruits of your labor. So, kailangan live a little. Okay? So, sana naman po, meron kayong natutunan or at least na-entertain kayo ng konti dito sa episode ni Kuya Putong to. So, join me on the next video, guys. This is Kuya Puto Mendoza in Canada. Wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble. Keep your hustle strong. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Mm -hmm.